I'm going to start off by making my chocolate ganache. I have uh, half a cup of heavy cream here and I put this in the microwave for just a minute or so until it started bubbling. And to that I'm going to add in half a cup of chocolate chips. And I'm just going to stir this until the chocolate is melted. Now once this has come together and your chocolate has melted, you want to go ahead and add in about half a cup of vanilla extract and stir that in. And then you want to set this off to the side and let this cool uh, for maybe 10-15 minutes. And while this is cooling, we're going to go ahead and get our cake pieces cut up and our pudding made. For the cake part, I am using a pound cake. You can use either a store-bought pound cake or one that you've made yourself. I just happen to make this one myself. And just like with my strawberry shortcake parfait video, um, or those parfaits, I'm going to use a quarter cup measuring cup because I'm going to be using uh, eight ounce jam jars for this and it happens to fit inside. Um, so that's the size. Just find a measuring scoop that fits your jars or containers that you're going to be using and you want to cut out your little rounds of cake. And I find I can usually get two pieces out of the pound cake that I make. Uh, and these slices are about a half an inch thick or so. And if you have like a little cutout on one side, that's perfectly fine. It's not going to harm anything. Uh, forever, or for every parfait you're going to do, you're going to want four discs of pound cake. And once I got done cutting up my pound cake, I went ahead and made up some uh, instant vanilla pudding. This is a 3.9 ounce box, I believe, and I made it according to the directions for a pie filling. So it's between one and a half and one and three quarters cups of milk to a package of instant pie filling or in instant pie, instant pudding mix. There we go. Use your word too, Jason. So I just let this sit uh, until it thickened up and now it's time to make our parfaits. Now to actually assemble your Boston cream parfaits. Uh, I said this before, I have 8 ounce jam jars here. Uh, I'm using the non-quilted ones. These are just the regular ones. They have the imprinted fruit things on them. I'm going to have that towards the back so the plain side, measuring cup side, is outward. Which means all of, our, all of my cake pieces that have a crust thing on them will be in the back. What we're going to do is take one piece of the cake and press it down into the bottom. And I'm just going to do two here for demonstration purposes, like so. And I'm going to take a spoonful of my instant vanilla pudding and put that on top of the pound cake. And then I'm going to repeat with another layer of pound cake. And then I'm going to take a spoonful of my chocolate ganache and put that right over top. And kind of spread it out to the sides of your jar. And then I'm going to repeat that layer again using another piece of pound cake, another spoonful of vanilla pudding and top it with another piece of pound cake and again the chocolate ganache and this top ganache you want to make sure goes all the way out to the sides all the way around and then to store these if you want to store these uh, to take them on a picnic or a barbecue or a party or a potluck or whatever uh, the nice thing about these jam jars is you can go ahead and put the lid and ring on these and store them in the refrigerator. And then once you get to your event or your picnic or party or wherever you're taking them, uh, you can go ahead and use a can of whipped cream and just pipe whipped cream onto the top of these. I happen to make up some whipped cream here. I have it in a pastry bag with a star tip on it. And I'm just going to put a little rosette of whipped cream right on top. And there you are. That is how I make Boston cream parfaits. Hope you guys enjoy and thanks so much for watching.